Mm. Week three, group activity, fractional and negative exponents. Okay, this one here, question one, find the square root of 16. Square root of 16 is here. So I rewrote it as a square, four squared. The square root of four squared is four, and that's our answer. Question two, uh, do um, expand and multiply each expression. So I, I have first one I have here is four to the third. And I expanded it out, it's four times four times four. And that's the same thing as four times 16, which is 64. Then the next one I have is three to the third. Then I expanded it out to be three times three times three, which is the same thing as three times nine, which is 27. Then part C here, I have two to the fourth power. I expanded it out, I have two times two times two times two. Two times two is four. So what I really have here is four times four, which is 16. Let's go on to part three, question three. Question three. I have um, four squared minus three squared divided by quantity four minus three squared. I simplify my numerator first, taking care of the squares. I have four squared, which is 16 and three squared, which is nine. Then I subtract 16 minus nine is seven. Then I simplify my denominator. Four minus three is one quantity squared, which is just one squared. So I have seven divided by one, which is just seven. That was part three, question four, write in exponential form. So I have two times two exponential form is this form here, where A is your base and N is your exponent. So N is five, the exponent represents the number of times the factor is being repeated. Multiplication, in this case, N is five. Okay, and a is two, my base. So in exponential form, I'm going to have two to the fifth for my final answer. Question five, write an exponential form. So he's expanded out uh, two bases there. We have one base is negative five and the other base, one base is negative five and the other base is four. We see that number of times five is being repeated is three. Number of times four is being repeated is five. So n is three here and n is five there. And my base, in this case, is negative 5, and another base is 4. So when I write this out, I'm going to have negative 5 to the third times 4 raised to the fifth power. Number 6, write an exponential, exponential form here. So in this case, I have uh, my base, in this case, is x, and my other base is y. The number of times that um, x is being repeated is 5. The number of times that y is being repeated is 4. So when I write an exponential form, I'm going to have in the form of a to the n. a to the n. It would look like <clears throat> x to the fifth times y to the fourth.
All right, so in here I have a negative three squared. So I rewrote that. I looked at it as to I looked at it in, as far as what's being repeated here. What I really have is negative one times three times three. And three times three is nine. So what I really have is negative one times nine, which gives me an answer of negative nine here. Negative eight. I mean, question eight. Uh, I have three times five squared. Expand it out. I have three times five times five. Five times five is 25. So I have three times 25, which is 75. My answer there. <clears throat> Question nine and question 10. So I have two plus three squared, which is two plus three times three. Three times three is nine. So I have two plus nine, which is 11. <laughs> Next one, they have the square root of 12 times 48. I rewrote 12 to be three times four. The fours cancel out. Then I have the square root of three times 48, which is 144. That's the same thing as uh, 12 squared, which is the square root of 12 squared is 12. And this one is question 11. I have 125 raised to the negative two thirds power here. So the first thing I do is I break up this product, this exponent here. So I have 125 raised to the negative one. If you remember, that's the reciprocal power there. I can flip it. So it becomes one over 125 raised to the two thirds power. Then I can break this two thirds up here. So 125 raised to the one third power squared. That's the same thing as the cube root of one over 125 squared. And the cube root of one over 125 is just gonna be one over five squared, which is one, over 25. The final answer there for number 11. And number 12, I have 16 raised to the uh, 3 halves power. So I break up this product in the exponent. So I have the, the root part here, which is a fractional part, which is 1 half raised to the third power. And that's the same thing as the square root of 16 raised to the third power. The square root of 16 is 4 raised to the third power which is 64. Mm -hmm. 13 here. Is a new weight negative 16 raised to the one half power. So what I did here, what I really have is negative one raised to the 16, negative one times 16 raised to the negative one half power. Okay, so I break up this exponent here. So I have negative 16 raised to the negative one power, which is all raised to all raised to the one half power. So. I have negative one times I have negative one times one over sixteen, 
raised to the one half power. You can break that up, rewrite that. Sub so negative one to the one half power is the same thing as the square root of one over one sixteenth. And the square root of 1 over 116, it's just going to be 1 fourth times negative 1. So my answer is negative 1 fourth for that one.